Hey everyone, welcome to It Tastes Different Gaming Appetizers. And what do we have on the show today? Well, Ubisoft is back at it again. They are doing some more crazy things. But what they've done this time is they've canceled Ghost Recon Frontline. So whew, dodge that bullet. And um splinter cell vr as well as two unannounced games so ubisoft reportedly canceled several games several games in development tiles and so those are those are uh two that are included so there's apparently several games that they've um canceled i think most of them are unannounced but those are the two main ones that we knew about they also recently had delayed the avatar that game that they're making back to 2023 to 2024 type window so trying to you know with avatar trying to really kind of be like the movies you know push them back as far as you can go you know gotta really live up to it um but basically they had an investor meeting and the in the investor meeting they decided to uh pretty much cancel or basically talk about canceling these games to emphasize uh cost-cutting measures so they can focus on their biggest development opportunities whatever that's supposed to mean. I'm assuming NFTs and cryptocurrency and probably Assassin's Creed Infinite, you know, that's going to be, uh, or Infinity, sorry, <laughs> I got that mixed up with Halo. Uh, Assassin's Creed I Infinity, which is probably going to be more of a like, uh, I'm assuming it's it's more likely going to be a uh, games as a service type of thing for Assassin's Creed, if I were to guess, with that type of name. Kind of like what they did with Halo, with Infinite being a games as a service. Same thing with Assassin's Creed. We don't know much more about Assassin's Creed uh, Infinity other than the name, really. But I assume that's what it is. But they've gone ahead and decided, decided to cancel a bunch of games. And, uh, you know, we don't know what the two unannounced are. But we do know that Frontlines, that was their Battle Royale game that they announced. Uh, that came, you know, they showed off a teaser trailer a long time ago to... A lot of people's dismay. It was pretty much, uh, you know, thumbed down on uh, disliked quite a bit on its release of that trailer. They were supposed to have a, a beta that came out. And the day before the beta, that beta ended up getting delayed indefinitely. And, well, now we know they've just gone out and canceled it, which is probably the smartest move Ubisoft has made. Um, that <laughs> Battle Royales, I don't know. You have your you have your contenders out there, but it's hard for a Battle Royale game to make headway. And uh, I think people are already pretty disappointed in the direction they've gone with Ghost Recon. And just to shove, a battle, it, shove it into a Battle Royale would probably just piss people off more than anything. So let's go around and see what everybody thinks about all this. Uh, Shane, what do you think about Ubisoft canceling all this crap? I uh, believe this is where the slow clap comes in. Um, thank God. Uh, it's like somebody told them, hey, nobody wants these games. Listen to society. And they canceled it. Thank God. Uh, Ghost Recon. It, as a battle royale was a freaking mistake just at at thought of concept um the uh, ghost recon is not a series that is loved anymore i mean they've ruined the series uh wetlands was their first iteration for a while um and it was fun but it wasn't ghost recon and then it just got worse with uh i can't remember the last one's subtitle it was just piece of crap so they've got to just they've got to stop and actually think what do gamers want we want ghost recon we want the ghost recon type of games that we got back on you know playstation 360 you know those era was when they were great games but they've just pissed them away um and uh brainiac who came up well you know what the last two really sucked Battle Royale make it better. No, it won't. So good for them to cancel it. Uh, I, you know, it sucks that they wasted that time and money on it because they could have put it into games that people did want. Uh, like Splinter Cell VR. Everybody wanted that. Nope, nobody. Not a damn soul wanted Splinter Cell VR. It's just who came up with this freaking brain fart of an idea? But they canceled it. Thank God. Maybe if they would have just focused on a real Splinter Cell game, 
they would have had to cancel it because that's what everybody has been clamoring for for years now, a true Splinter Cell game. But they're just not doing it for some reason. So I don't know what the other two games were. They're probably NFT, crypto, gambling, dot com, freaking wetlands 2.0, some crap. I just I don't know what the hell's wrong with that company. They've lost focus to what that company, what made that company great, which was games. Now they're they're not about games. They're about, you know, loot boxes and micromanaging and, and you know now nfts and crypto and it's like how about making games and this is what happens when you know they they went for the money and they finally realized somebody realized that they're they're making crap i mean just a big pile of, of crap so um but hopefully this is a learning experience and they'll start putting forth putting forward more games that people want and ideals that people are really interested in. VR is cool. I like VR, but Splinter Cell VR, I have zero interest in any concept of it. Uh, you know, Ghost Recon is a battle royale, zero interest in it. Um, so hopefully now we'll start getting some good Ubisoft games with some great titles that they have. They just need to bring back and not screw up. So what about you, Pat? Oh, excuse me. I, I fell asleep there. Sorry. It's Ubisoft. They're always in the news for something stupid. You know, um, it is what it is. And Ubisoft, they don't make games anymore, like you guys said. They really hope that you guys are enjoying Rabbids and Skull and Bones later this year. You know, because that's all they're doing. Uh, you know, I'm kind of excited for Skull and Bones. It looks really good, but they have so many studios. What are they doing right now? Is everybody asleep at the wheel over there? You know, I mean. They're delayed two games, canceling four more. I mean, I don't know what the heck's going on over there. <laughs> you know, it's, it's uh free for all over there. They just uh, open the liquor cabinet and let them run wild, I guess, over there for a while. <laughs> I, I honestly, I don't care about the um, Avatar open world game. I don't care. Nothing about what I saw was entertaining to me, but I'm not a huge fan of the Avatar series in general. Um, I mean, I was duped into liking it you know, a long time ago when it first came out because it was one of the first like modern day VR films and it was amazing. But the story is just meh. When you watch it outside of VR, it's like, oh, why did I buy this? <laughs> you know, um, next thing you know, we're going to get closer and they're going to be uh, postponing or canceling Skull and Bones again. You know, <laughs> the game that's been in development forever is going to get canceled. They're going to talk about a new uh, Assassin's Creed game taking its place or something, like Nick said. Assassin's Creed VR. It was announced at the same time. Uh, one of the VR games that they're canceling is, you know, uh, the Splinter Cell VR game was announced. They're going to basically just say, no, we canceled that one too. Because they didn't mention the couple other games they canceled, right? There was a cancel, a couple games they canceled they didn't really elaborate on. They just said they were premium games. What does that mean? What's a premium game? You can call anything you want a premium game, right, these days? It's a premium pack of toilet paper. Do with it what you will. White it's twice. Ubisoft. They're always in. They're always in the news for something anymore. Uh, Ubisoft is. It, I don't know, man. They're swirling around the toilet bowl. Somebody's about to flush them, or they're going to get so hard up, somebody's going to buy them out. Yeah, you know. I don't know if that's even on anybody's radar, or if everybody's like, "Oh no, that one's got too much corn in it for me." So, uh, I don't know, man. Ubisoft used to make great games. They used to make cool stuff. They used to try to innovate. And now they got stuck in the Assassin's Creed um, motto with every game they did. Let's open world everything. Let's throw so much crap at the screen. Let's have a four hour story with 36 hours worth of collecting garbage. And if you're a completionist, it's going to take you 80 hours because on top of this 36 hours worth of extra crap, we threw in a 40 hours worth of collectibles that you don't even really need to use that are hidden that you got to find. And they just basically rinsed and repeated that strategy with every game that came out since Assassin's Creed got popular. Um, to me, I'm kind of overhearing all the news about Ubisoft. I'm like, I try not to get my hopes about, about anything they put out. You know, I was kind of excited for Skull and... I just got excited for Skull and Crossbones... Skull and Bones, excuse me, uh, a few years ago when they were talking about it and showing off videos with the... Uh, pvp 4v4 in your ships and stuff and then they've completely revamped that and i'm like okay 
and I saw a trailer not too long ago, and I'm like, this looks really good. I can get behind this. And now I'm like, Oof. they're back to their old old tricks again. Next thing we know, you're not going to be putting out anything for an entire fiscal year besides your rabbits or something like that, you know? But Nick, what do you think, man? Uh, anything on your list that they're getting rid of or postponing that you were just raring to go and couldn't wait to play? There's not, there hasn't been anything for from Ubisoft that I am excited to play in a long time. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if possibly the other two unannounced game well this is their unannounced that means we didn't know about them at all um i was gonna say maybe uh what is it uh the division heartland or whatever that we haven't heard about in a long time maybe that one might be one of the ones canceled or uh uh there was another one oh that uh the other battle royale game they're making it's not a battle royale it's that well it is but it's not the it had the Tom Clancy name on it, but now it doesn't. But it's still being made. I yeah, can't the one that they called. ripped off the. Yeah, the one that they had to remove like the Tom Defiant Clancy name from or something like that. Yeah, X Defiant. X Defiant. That's right, X Defiant. So, uh, you know, I guess that was still going strong. I, I don't know. They, you know, they probably canceled uh, the front lines, uh, Ghost Recon front lines, not because they thought a Power Royale was a bad idea probably because they decided they're going to shift that to some other property, right? So it's it's probably still alive and well. It's going to be Assassin's Creed Battle Royale game that they're going to make or something like that. I mean, Ubisoft has you know, we've talked about it before, but Ubisoft has has I don't know. They've they've gone a separate direction and and now they're just in about, you know, like Pat said, they're just about rinse and repeating everything. Um, I bet you they just have like when they make a new game, they probably just have a button that creates the whole world, spits out a bunch of collectibles everywhere, and then they're like, "Cool, all right." And then, you know, you just put in some like some little drop downs, like what kind of uh, time period you're in, and and various things like that, like Roman, yeah, okay. <laughs> that just builds everything and spits out collectibles everywhere. And they're like, "Awesome!" Now let's just make a story, and there we go. We got ourselves a game. Like, I mean, it's it's like it's almost like a. a you know, because every game they've made since uh, Assassin's Creed 2 has been the same formula. They haven't changed it up. Any, even with any new property they, they bring along, like Watch Dogs and, uh, you know, even Ghost Recon and stuff like that that they've done, it's just the same game. I mean, you might as well just say, like, that was that, you know, that Ghost Recon Wetlands was just a skin of an Assassin's Creed game. They gave uh, Enzio a, a, a assault rifle and turned them into a commando and and there you go you got yourself wetlands right i mean that was pretty much it so yeah they really gotta they I mean, it's unfortunate i don't think they will ever change uh personally i think they'll they, they, this is kind of the road they're going down i mean and this road's not just exclusive to them right this seems to be a trend among all the big uh publishers and developers out there all the big ones right not the smaller ones but the bigger ones where it's all about monetization and and NFTs and blockchains and and basically how many various ways can I take a player's money out of their pocket? Like what what modes can I take? Can I charge them eighty dollars for a game? Can I charge them for a DLC pair of pants? Can I charge them like five bucks for you know some new slacks? Can I you know give them some DLC that we already created and it should have been in the game, but we stripped it out and then resold it to them because we can, right? Like how many ways loot boxes, all this crap, you know how many ways can we do it? And that's that's all those big developers out there. That's pretty much the trend now, right? Um, how many ways can we screw over our players? Um, the, you know, so it's it sucks and it's sad because, you know, we all miss the days where that wasn't a thing and, and it shouldn't be a thing. Right. Um, you, you know, movies don't do that. Other things don't do that. <laughs> cars are starting to. Right. <laughs> we know about BMW. So cars are starting to do it. Uh, movies might be next. You know, you only get 30 minutes of the movie. Then you got to pay for the next 30 minutes. Right. Or some crap like that. Or if you want to see that extra scene you know you got to pay for that extra scene or something i don't know whatever the case may be like uh, they'll figure out a way to to monetize movies and various things i mean stuff's expensive as it is out there nowadays um to have to nickel and dime everyone's death it's you know it's uh, unfortunately the industry's way and ubisoft has taken hold and and gone along with it um and i agree i think 
you know, I think in the long run, it'll hurt them. You know, I think Skull and Bones looks pretty, looks pretty good, but I, the problem with Skull and Bones is it's Ubisoft. So I have zero hope and it'll be good. Right. I, I, I it looks good, but I'm like, it's going to be Ubisoft. So the formula is going to be the same. We're going to be doing the same crap we do in every other game. And it's going to be like wetlands, but it's even wetter now because we're on <laughs> we're in the ocean, right? On a ship. <laughs> but other than that, it's going to be the same game. They reiterated this game, redone this game so many times that it's like they don't even know what the hell they're making. I think they're just sh- pushing it out to stores now because they just finally said, screw it. We're done screwing with this thing, this property. We're just, just shove it out the door. Um, it'll be interesting. I hope it turns out to be great. but. I don't have a lot of confidence in Ubisoft. I love yeah. that I have you guys calling it Wetlands now. I, that's what so I was about shit, to say. <laughs> so much shit for this when I started calling it Tom Clancy, the Ghost Recon Wetlands. You guys just like, not Wetlands, Wildlands. I'm like, oh, it's Wetlands, guys. We'll get wet. <laughs> now nah, I break yeah. all the Wetlands. So if anybody's going to look it up, don't put Wetlands. You might find something else. It's Wildlands. But yeah, do you guys remember, man, when you saw Ubisoft on a uh, on the box art or whatever, man, you were just like, yes, I'm so excited. You know, it's going to be great because Ubisoft made some of the greatest games. Even some of their worst games were still 10 times better than what they've been putting out the last five, 10 years. So, you know, if I had to pay for cannonballs and and, and uh, Skull of Bones, I've got to be pissed. So just. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's heartbreaking to see what they've done to themselves. And you're right, Nick, they won't change. They won't. Uh, I would like to see them sell off some of their IPs to uh, developers who will make good games with them. I mean, the problem is they just found a a formula that works, right? I mean, because for the longest time, Assassin's Creed was great. Um, Far Cry was great. They just found this. But Far Cry and... And Assassin's Creed is the same game when you think about it. It's this open world game that you get to go anywhere on the map you want and do anything. It's just Assassin's Creed with guns or Far Cry with assassins. I mean, really, that's what it is because the map is the same. I need to get to a point where I can open up all the area around this point. So I go to this high point and I open up some stuff. Oh, look, there's there's little mini games over here and over there and there and everywhere else to do. And that, I mean, that's what they've gone down. And, down. and that's Wildlands, too. You know, you're tracking down killers and things like that in Wildlands. And even the newest ones, I always already forgot what the name of the newest one was that we barely even put in like two days on. Um, But it's the same thing, right? You go to this new area, you open it up and all of a sudden you track this bad guy to this new area. And when you open this new area, there's new weapons that you can get over here. If you do this activity, new uh, wanted posters over here, if you do this activity, I'm just like. I agree with Nick. Somebody just built a drop down and they said, what level of Ubisoft do you want? One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. And every time they're like, hey, guys, I don't have a new button for Ubisoft level eight. I need you guys to create a button with 25% more shit in this game. Every time they do a new one, they're just adding a new level. Before long, we've been Ubisoft level 22, 2,225% more mindless bullshit in the game with two hours worth of story. Yeah. You know, it's not that we hate open world games. It's just become too much. Uh, the last we hate uh, open world fluff. Exactly. Exactly. Um, uh, Assassin's Creed, or not Assassin's Creed, uh, Phoenix Rising, I believe that was called. That was a decent open world game because it wasn't so massive. You got lost and you had five billion little things to do. It was a, it was a decent little streamlined open world game. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima is probably my favorite and perfect example of a good open world setup. Lots to do, but not over cumbersome. The, ma- the, the world was wonderful. Assassin's Creed and, and Far Cry, they just put mountains and more mountains and more mountains. And it, it, pretty soon it's just going to be a ball and it's nothing but a ball of mountains. And that's it. And everything's just going to be piled up. You're just going to hit A, just walking around, hitting A, picking shit up. That's it. But then you got to pay extra to pick up more shit. So, I mean, I like Elden, I like open world games too, right? Like one of my favorite ones is Elden Ring. That is like open world done right. There's not yep. like a whole bunch of garbage collectibles, really. Every Just about everything you find in that game is useful for something. 
you know, or they're just hide stuff that you go to find. It's like, cool, I found this cool weapon in this cave that was just off on the map that I wasn't even supposed to be around. I was just exploring. Elden Ring is like a perfect example of an open world game done right, in my opinion. There's so much places you're like, how do I get down there? And you're looking over a cliff and you're like, I'll die if I jump down there. So how do I make my way down there? You know, so that, in my opinion, is like an open world game done right. Oh, all these Ubisoft games are just like filler. I would say I would say at this point, Ubisoft games are 75 percent filler, if not even more. When you look at an Assassin Re- Assassin's Creed and a, and a new uh, Far Cry and other games are just as bad. Right. Look at Just Cause, which is kind of like a Far Cry. I think it was a Far Cry ripoff type thing, but I mean, in either way, it's the same kind of game concept. All these other developers doing this. It's not just Ubisoft, but Ubisoft, in my opinion, is the pioneer of it. And that's why I always call it Ubisoft in a game. You know, they just Ubisoft this one up because they just 75% filler, 25% game. Like a Kardashian. Can't stop watching that train rip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're going to, I 100% agree. Elden Ring was a great open world. It was like, I mean, the difference between Elden Ring's open world and, and what I think of with Assassin's Creed is Elden Ring had so many surprises, right? Every corner was a new experience, right? Um, where I feel like in Assassin's Creed, you know what's around every corner. Right. You know, what's in every crevice. You you know what's behind every waterfall or up every mountain. Like, you know exactly where everything is at. It's pretty much like there's like signs pointing straight at it going, you got a weapon over here or whatever, you know, whereas Elden Ring, it, it brought back that exploration. Right. I mean, it didn't tell you where to go. It didn't show you a bunch of icons on the screen. It didn't say this is here and that's there. It just said go and explore if you want i mean you can follow the main storyline and have just as much fun but you can also go off the beaten path and you'll find some cool stuff and like pat said everything you found had some sort of use for your character or maybe you you know used it for whatever case it may be right uh other builds or various things like that so there was a lot of different uses for it. It was it, it was designed really well. It was designed for exploration and discovery. Whereas I feel like Assassin's Creed and, and Far Cry and stuff is not really set up for discovery, right? It's not set for discovery. You know where everything's at. You, you just expect everything to be in a place where it is. Um, all these hidden things and stuff like that. So there's no thrill to go look for this. It almost feels like a chore more than it does feel like you're adventuring and having fun right because when you play those games that bring up a list of things or you have you know the ubisoft mantra which is oh you've collected one of 20 of these postcards and you're like well crap now i gotta you know it's like it's just like a chore list like oh okay i gotta go collect 20 of these so now i gotta go around and find these whereas you know the elden ring was like you picked up a postcard, which they Ellen Reed doesn't have postcards, but in the same scenario, right? And then you'd be like, cool. And then you pick up another, like, oh, there's more of these, you know? And so you're venturing around hoping to find these, but it, the game is not telling you, guess what? You've, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's like a, it's more of a discovery and exploration type of feel where you, there's, there's something new around every corner where Assassin's Creed and Far Cry and the Ubisoft mantra doesn't have that. That's the main thing. So, you know, hopefully one day they'll find their way. I highly doubt it. They'll probably be bought out in the end. I'm sure. I'm sure uh, somebody. I think they were looking to be purchased at one point. I'm not sure if that. I think they were, but I think the main uh, people that used to own it came back and invested a whole bunch of money into the, into the company and kind of bought it back through the shares. Yeah, the family uh, that that started it. The family. Uh, the family. Family. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> It wasn't Vin Diesel, was it? No, no, he's in uh, he's in dinosaurs now. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> you guys have anything else you want to add to this? Before we wrap nope. it up. Nope. Uh, I'm just glad they canceled that crap. Now start actually making games you want. You bastards. Yeah, they say it's to focus on cost-effective properties. So that just tells me it's more of loot box. They're just doubling down on the crap that we hate. Is what they've decided to do. Uh, not that the, the things that they cancel were great, but I think that they're just going to put more money into taking your money. 
So anyway, let us know down in the comments below. What do you think? What do you think of uh, Ubisoft canceling these uh, games? The uh, fr front lines uh, battle royale game in the Splinter Cell VR, as well as the unannounced games. And, uh, you know, what do you think of, you know, why you're talking about Ubisoft? What do you think of Skull and Bones? Are you interested in it? Not interested in it? Uh, do you think it's going to be more Assassin's Creed and Far Cry? Or do you think they're going to actually change something up and create a unique experience? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you made it this far, you might as well hit that subscribe button while you're listening and hit the bell notification to stay up to the new uh, videos that we do all the time. And we'll see you next time. See ya.